Hey guys, this is Sahil from Chronostech. Now, the saddest part of an Android smartphone's life cycle is the part where the company ends the support for any phone. Now, for Xperia Ion, it has been quite some time that the official support finished and we have not seen any updates since Jelly Bean. So, we did not receive KitKat and obviously, we won't be receiving Lollipop. Now, thanks to the XDA developer community, a developer named Bpol has come up with a ROM that supports Lollipop and is based on the AOSP framework that Google originally supports. So, what we are going to install today is the AOSP ROM for Xperia Ion. You can get from XDA. I'll be leaving all the links in the description below. Now, there's one problem with the forum because of which I made this video. There is not much information about how to install that and, and even I ended up going into soft breaks and boot loops for 5 to 10 times so once i installed the aos vrom on my xperia ion i thought i should come up with a tutorial so that i could help people go through the installation problems with ease now this is a tutorial on how to install the aos vrom for xperia ion all the links will be in the description below there is one primary link for the rom and there are links for the gaps gaps are the google apps package which basically contain basic google apps and play services framework so you can install any gaps package that is given below in the description so you can choose whichever you want to install and there's one more video that's coming up on how to root the android lollipop on xp ion so make sure that you subscribe to my channel to check out my video and i'll also be doing a benchmark video of xp ion lollipop which will help you to decide if you should go for the update on the xp ion so it's totally up to you now let's continue with the main tutorial i have downloaded all the files that i needed now i'll just go into the recovery now we are in the recovery you have your own choice you can select any recovery you want for my own choice i have teamman and if you want to know what kind of recovery i'm using this is basically a themed version of teamman go to install and install the carbon rom first now this is is one very important step if you're coming from some other rom then it probably won't work so make sure that you install carbon rom first that's it now i'll just go back and let's wipe the data now we need to wipe the dalvik cache the cache the data and android secure android secure is optional if you want you can wipe because in custom recoveries like cwm and fills you won't have the option of android secure so you can just wipe the cache make sure that you don't wipe the system otherwise it will create a problem for you So the next thing is we have to mount the system partition. Now this is one very crucial step. If you don't mount the system then you won't be able to boot and you won't even be able to start the rom for the first time. The next step is we have to go in and install the aoba rom that's the lollipop rom. Let's flash it. That's it the process is done. Now let's wipe the cache. It's actually a good habit that you should wipe caches after doing everything it helps up keep the phone fast. I'll just power on the phone. For the first boot it will probably take around 10 to 15 minutes. So now the phone has booted you can see the lollipop lock screen. Now let's check the version of android we have in settings. Yeah, this is Android version 5.0.1. Basically, B Paul is the developer who's been working on this, and this is a pretty decent ROM. I've used it, and the benchmarks are really good. It's better than the stock ROM, ICS ROM, and custom KitKat ROMs. Now, there's one more thing. For now, the ROM does not have any Google apps, so you need to download Google apps, or as they call it, GAPS. It's a package that has all the Google apps, and the next step will be that we have to power off the phone, and we need to go to the recovery to flash or install the GAPS. If you're wondering what I did back there, it was basically I just ran the reboot recovery command in a terminal emulator so that I don't have to go manually into recovery when I boot up. So this is the recovery. Now let's locate the zip and flash it. I've placed my zip in the SD card, so I'll search it in the SD card. Make sure you know where you are downloading and copying the file. Otherwise, you won't be able to find it as it might take some time in recovery. Now this is the one I have downloaded. I have downloaded the PA gaps version. You can even download the BPOL gaps version. I'll just go ahead and tap the yes. And the installation has started. Now the package of gaps that I have installed, it's a micro modular package. So this won't be having lots of Google services. Now it will be having very basic Google apps like Play Store, Google Search, Google Accounts, and Google Services Framework. It won't even have Chrome browser. So if you want everything to come at the very first, then you have to make sure that you install the stock package. I'll just boot up the phone and see if the Google apps have installed. Yeah, so Android is upgrading. This thing did not come the last time, so it means, yeah, the Google apps have installed. That's it, we're done. Starting the apps. There's Google Now Launcher. 
it comes as a part of the Google Apps package. For now there are no shortcuts, there are no things, nothing on the screen. I'll just quickly add some shortcuts for you to see. I assure you this has an actually great performance. I'll be uploading benchmarks and full review of Lollipop on Xperia Ion. So make sure you check it. Subscribe to my channel to stay in touch. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Share it with anyone whom you think it might benefit. That's all. Thanks for watching. This is Kronstick signing out.